In this problem, we're told a baseball has a mass 0.145 kilograms. If the velocity of a pitched ball has a magnitude of 45 meters per second and the batted ball's velocity is 55 meters per second in the opposite direction, find the magnitude of the change in momentum of the ball and of the impulse applied to it by the bat. B, if the ball remains in contact with the bat for 2 milliseconds, find the magnitude of the average force applied by the bat. So let's go ahead and draw what's going on here. So uh, we're going to say this is initial. All right, so this is going to be the initial part and then final part. So there's two parts of this problem, right? So the first part, we're going to have this ball. It's going to be pitched, and it has going to have a magnitude of 45 meters per second, right? So uh, this ball is going to be traveling. Let's say it's to the right, 45 meters per second, right? So it's going to go this way, and then final, it's going to be hit back, right? So it's going to hit some bat and then go back, and then it's going to be traveling in the opposite direction, so now to the left at 55 meters per second, Let's right? So 55 meters per second. So uh, let's go ahead and solve. So for the first part, A, we're trying to find the magnitude of the change in momentum. So we know momentum, or you should know the momentum formula is P equals MV. So momentum equals mass times velocity. So if we want to find the change in it, right, change in momentum, right, which is what we want to find for the first part, it's going to be the final momentum, which you can just say M times V final minus M times V initial, right? The this is going to be the final momentum because we're using the final velocity and then we minus the initial momentum, right? Because it's the initial velocity and that's going to give us the change in it, right? Because we just take final minus initial, that gives the change, right? So what we can do is just factor out an M. So it's just V final minus V initial. All we did was factor out an M. And so uh, we have all these values, right? Let's write down the given. So what are we given? We're given the mass, right? We know the mass of the ball. It's 0.145. They tell us that. Kilograms. And then they tell us the initial and final. So initially, we know it's traveling 45 meters per second. right? So V initial is 45 meters per second. And then V final, it's going to travel 55 meters per second to the left. But since it's traveling to the left, we have to label it negative, right? Because uh, we're going to assume the right is positive in this problem. So or we're going to set it, right? So the right is positive, and then the left is negative. So it's going to be traveling minus 55 meters per second. OK, so yeah, so uh, what we can do is just use these values now, right? We have all the values, we can plug it in. So let's go ahead and do that. So the change in momentum is going to be the mass, which is 0.145. And then we multiply it by V final minus V initial. So uh, V final is minus 55 and then minus V initial, right? Or V initial is 45. So uh, you're going to want to go ahead and do this, right? So do, let me plug in my calculator. So Point one four five times minus fifty five minus forty five. Right. So when you do this, uh, you're going to get that it equals minus fourteen point five. But keep in mind, uh, they want us to find the magnitude. So it's minus fourteen point five, uh, but we want the magnitude, which just means take the positive value, right? The absolute value of it. So fourteen point five. And then uh, keep in mind the units. So this is kilograms. This is meters per second. So we just say kilogram meters per second. Right? So that's going to be um, the change in momentum, right? So 14.5 kilogram meters per second. And so the second part, they want us to find the impulse applied to it. But what you should know is that uh, J, which is the impulse, it's the variable that represents impulse, is equal to the change in momentum which essentially means the impulse is the same as the change in momentum, meaning they're the same values, right? So uh, you could say this is the change in momentum, and then J, the impulse, is the same thing, 14.5 kilogram meters per second. But yeah, so that's uh, the first part, right? That's A. This is your answers to A. Now let's do B. So if the ball remains in constant contact with the bat for 2 milliseconds, so this is going to be delta T, and I'll, you'll see in a second why. But essentially, t, the time it's connected, is 2 milliseconds. So let's write that in our given. And then we're trying to find the magnitude of the average force applied by the bat. So how do we solve this one? So there's a formula for the average force, which is equal to the change in momentum over the change in time. So this is the formula that you would use to solve for the average force, which is what they want us to find, right? The magnitude of it. So we know how to find the change in momentum, right? We have the formula right here. Essentially, what we got to do is just divide it by the change in time, right? So let's go ahead and do that, right? But we know what the change in momentum is. It's 14.5, right? So what we want to do is just say, right, 
the change momentum, which is 14.5 over the change in time. But what is the change in time? Two milliseconds. But keep in mind when we do this, uh, this seconds and uh, this is in milliseconds. So we have to convert it. So you want to divide it by 1000. And the reason that is because there's a thousand uh, milliseconds per second. So divide this by a thousand and you'll get it in seconds. So 0 0.0 zero zero two seconds right so just to, uh you're going to want to go ahead and just divide so point zero zero two seconds this is kilogram this is kilogram meters per second right so go ahead and do this right so 14.5 divide by it and when you do that you're going to get it equals seven thousand two hundred and fifty Right, and this is newtons, so 7,250 newtons. That's going to be uh, the magnitude of the average force. Right, magnitude is just the absolute value, but it's the same thing. So 7,250 newtons. Uh, this right here is going to be the magnitude of the average force applied by the bat. Right, so your answer to B. But yeah, so this was your answer to B. These are your answers to A, and yeah. So hopefully you found this useful.